Welcome to I'm our weekend release. Down. This, well, you've been farting around with your pig in olives for the past five minutes. This is our bonus podcast episode where we can see how much extra content we can squeeze into your week. Random things that have been sent in and extra bits from our week and how our advice went down with you, our wonderful Gene Divas. This is Help I Sex to My Boss, the bonus. Lovely. Now, you may have seen um, the clips, various clips of us recording our audiobook on uh, across our social media over the last couple of weeks. And um, it's safe to say that so far, we seem to have more outtakes than the actual book. <laughs> Um, so to whet your uh, appetite, remember you can pre-order both the book and the audiobook now, we've got a selection of some of our outtakes. Um, we would like to call this first clip, Jordan's Little Outbursts. If not a platonic relationship... Oh, f- if not a platonic relation... <clears throat> if not a platonic relationship... Oh, f- but if you're not happy and you think things are unlikely to... Ch- oh, fuck off. And it's a good way to get away. Oh, for fucking... Fuck. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. We'll bleep that. <laughs> bleep, bleep the C word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, that is so bad. I act like I've been dragged up. Well. Sorry to anyone that's editing that. You can pre-order the book at <laughs> sexandmindboss.com forward slash book. Yes, it'll be slicker than that. Okay. Uh, although, uh, it's fair to say I'm not the only one that's uh, fumbling over my words. Have a listen to this. Worshipped a god called Serunus. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that car crash coming a mile off. Cern. It's a while since I wrote this. The ancient called Cernuna. Cernuna. Cernurus. Cernunus. The ancient pagan Celts worshipped a god called Cernunus. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> the ancient pagan Celts worshipped a god called Sununus. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, now, in this clip, we find out how Jordan manages to get into some of London's most exclusive bars. To lots of people on a night out, club security can be the enemy. But we all know that they're there to keep an eye on any trouble. I'm pretty good with security. Smile and give them a cheeky wink as you head to the door. And you usually leave... I'm surprised they don't punch you in the face. (laughs) Did you say... Cheeky wink. A wink. Yeah. Smile and give them a cheeky wink. (laughs) Or in William's case, a cheeky wank. Are you charging entry? (laughs) Happy memories. Mm. This next clip shows that while one word means one thing to one of us, it also means something totally different to the other. You've just enjoyed a delicious nosh with friends, but... S- <laughs> Can't say that. What? <laughs> we often nosh. <laughs> no, we do. we've never noshed. Ben and I came over last night and we noshed you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We're not saying nosh, are we? Well, it's, it's being printed. Oh, fine. Say nosh. And now, how would you, Gene Devers, pronounce S-O-M-M-E-L-I-E-R? Because this was Jordan's attempt. Eating out. Williams Mall, Somali- Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> sommelier. Williams Mall, Sommelier. Jordan's just smellier. I'm not a country in Africa. <laughs> and finally, this next clip... Uh... Keeping with my now famous trend of not being able to pronounce a word, we have an alcohol-free mishap. I take my hat off to teetotalers, but for someone that's done dry January, what would you... I take my hat off to teetotalers. I take my hat off to teetotalers. (laughs) Fuck off. I take my hat off to teetotalers. What is it? Teetotalers. Oh, teetotalers. (laughs) Teetotalers. Hey, I take my hat off to teetotalers. Tea, what is it? Teetotalers. Hey, I take my hat off to teetotalers. Teetotal- <laughs> you keep looking at your phone every time you go to say the word teetotal, so read right. the word on the page. He- <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I take my hat off to teetotalers. <laughs> Te- I can't fucking say it! <laughs> ah! Right. <laughs> Hey, I take my hat off to people that can't drink. <laughs> no. What are they called? <laughs> hey, I take my hat off to, to fucking hell, not your c- 
Oh, sorry. So sorry if you're editing this. I'm so sorry. Hey, I take my heart off to teetotal. <laughs> 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 Come on. What is it? T. T. Total. <laughs> Totalist. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, tea totalers. Okay. Hey, I take my tat off to tea totalers. <laughs> what? What? what did I say? No, tat. <laughs> now we're tripping up over one syllable words. <laughs> uh, and there's more quality like that on the Help I Sex My Boss audiobook out on the 9th of November pre-order now oh amazing you can order it sexwithmyboss.com forward slash book well there we go what fun we've had recording the audio book right next on the weekend release William over the past few weeks you've been going viral well thank you you have with short etiquette tip videos but there's not much time in these clips for you to explain yourself so I thought we could learn an extra little thing or two right here on the podcast oh okay etiquette explained we're calling it oh Here's the audio Love from it. one of your recent videos, and we've got some props in front of us too. There's a lot of nonsense on the internet about how to eat an olive. Here is how to eat an olive. Spear it, take it off the spear, pop it in your mouth, that's step one. Then, when it's time to spit it out, do what I just did there. Spit it into your dominant hand, use your other hand to shield, and pop it away in the little discard bowl, as we have here. None of this spitting it onto the back of the fork. If anyone tells you to do that, they do not know what they are talking about. And that's all about it. Is that your most viral video? Uh, it's one of them, yeah. I've just looked to see how much. On TikTok, it's had 11.6 million, and on Instagram, it's had 15.1. Wow! Fair play. That's more than any of our videos, isn't it? <laughs> Fair play. Thank you. It's not my most viral video, but uh, it's one of them. But uh, uh, so the context of that clip, because again, um, it's a short video. You can't explain everything. There was a video a few months ago that obviously, if you follow etiquette accounts um, and, and see see that sort of stuff in your algorithm, of a chap saying that the correct etiquette with an olive stone, an unpitted olive was to spit the stone onto the back of the fork. Absolute low... No etiquette book has ever said is that. Is this etiquette beef? Well, sort of. So I was like, no, that's not correct. I'm actually going to do a, vid a video on how to get rid of a stone from an unpitted olive. Uh, and that's that's what we decided to do. And people, people have very strange reactions to these etiquette videos because generally people don't like being told what to do is what I've, what I've understood. And people seem to take it very seriously. The comment section, particularly on that olive one, is interesting. Lighten up. Well, thank you. Yes. Right, so you're going to show us now how to eat an olive? Uh, well, how would you eat an olive? We've got some, some olives here. I've got my bloody braces in. Well, take your bloody braces out. <laughs> really sore at the moment, my teeth. Oh, dear. Well, first of all, where would you put your brace? Well, put it on the discard plate. No, I'm not going to do that. Right, this is how I'd eat an olive. No. Okay, so Jordan's taking the olive with his fingers. Oh, is it not pitted? Well, I don't actually know. Mm. It's a pitted olive. <laughs> is it? No. Oh, is it not? Oh. Pitted. It's got a thing in. So mm. you're, you're just taking also, a bite from it, but you're still holding the olive in your hand. We should do a trigger warning for those people that hate the sound of chewing and stuff. Trigger yeah. warning. Halfway through. And then um, I just eat around there. Well, that, that's not correct. That's really unattractive. Okay, so... Let me do that again. So what I was oh, saying for those... They're very bitter olives. Mm. I like a meaty olive, me. Do you? So what I was saying is you use the cocktail stick, if you've got a communal dish, to spear the olive. Mm -hmm. Then you can put it in your mouth, or you take it from your hands and, and put it in your mouth. And the whole thing goes in, and you chew around the stone. And then once you've got the stone, you spit that into your dominant hand using your non-dominant hand to shield. What's your non-dominant hand? So the one you don't wank with. <laughs> <laughs> Are you left or right-handed? Well, we've talked that I'm left-handed, but I do most things with my right hand. <laughs> most things? <laughs> okay, so your dominant hand... Will... <laughs> Don't wink at me as you eat an olive, you pervert. <laughs> what? What's that for? Mm. I'm not very good at eating olives. No, well, you need to watch my video. Why? I want to see it every week. <laughs> Excuse me, it... 
I'm Did glad we're having this opportunity to uh, talk further about olive etiquette. Wendy got thrown out of a posh bar once. Why? She was eating olives at a table. And um, she was eating them and chatting to my dad. She was at the bar. And chatting away. And this one went, excuse me, they're not actually for the bar. They're my olives. I ordered them. <laughs> and my mum took a set exception to how the lady spoke to her. And what happened then? So my mum had a go at her, told her to... Go away. I think she probably said something like, oh, shut up, you snotty cow, does it matter? And got asked to leave. Well, it does really matter <laughs> if that snotty cow had paid for them. It was the way she said it, my mum said. Whose side are you on here? Well, I think maybe the snotty cows. No, we're on Wendy's side. What? She well, said... But Wendy should have gone, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me order you a new, a new batch. That's what I would have leave. said. In a slug of lettuce of all places. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, right. You didn't actually show us how to eat it. No, because I don't really want to eat olives. I don't massively like olives, what? if I'm honest. After all that. You're so fussy. You do alt for a bloody viral trend, you. Yes, but you also, you never see me eating. Have you noticed? I thought you did eat the olive. I did eat the olive, actually. The olive, maybe that's why it went viral. But normally I don't eat them. But I needed to get a stone. Which really bitter. Yes. Ben couldn't find fresh olives. He got jarred on them, so we're having to... Oh, where are they from then? Corner Sharp? Are they in date? I hope so. Probably not, you know. Best before sea lid. What date's that? Oh, God. Oh, no, 24. July 24. Okay. You're fine. You're not going to expire. Also, I've picked out some of your favourite comments that I thought I'd run by you from the other video. Yes. Now, I should just say, I don't generally read the comments. No, don't. No. You'll never work it. You won't get out of bed in the morning. So I've done them for you. <laughs> Why do you use the stick if you're just going to take it off? Yeah, Says true. one person. Okay. May I spit it back into the bucket and cover it with my hands? Then spitting into your hand seems unsanitary. Uh, no, you don't spit it into a bucket. No, not at all. Or a discard plate or anything. You spit it into your hand and then you use your hand to put it into whatever. This is the most British shit I've seen today. Says one comment. Right. <laughs> Love your tits more than you... Uh, tits, tits more than you know. <laughs> Thank you for bringing back manners. Oh, that's nice. That's an, an unusual nice one. That's for it's from Sarah Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Step three in an olive. One, takes, take olives and place them in a serving dish. Two, place a serving dish with olives in the bin. Three, have a French martini. Right, OK. This comment got over 64,000... This comment got over 64,000 likes. Right, don't stick your tongue out to show me how to pronounce a thur. I did not. You oh. did. You went. I think that was subconscious. Established dominance by swallowing it. Is that what you said? I didn't. No, no, no. Someone commented that okay. you should establish dominance. Well, look, your videos are great it. and they bring a lot of joy to people. So keep, keep it up. Well, thank you. You're doing really well. Thank you so much. I hadn't noticed. Don't use a toothpick now to, to, to pick out your... Tooth. That's when disgusting. you left us on Sunday and went to that weekend away, yeah. I asked for a toothpick. It took a major to find one. My teeth have been chopped and sewed. And... I should do the etiquette of toothpicks. There you go. Freddie, put that down. Etiquette of toothpicks. Ah, good chat. We'll get that on. Wibbly wobbly. I'm um, just at uh, university at the moment. Old chap, old sport. Uh, with the... Uh, with the... Um, the the uh, rowing team, but I'll uh, we'll de we'll definitely do that. Bloody wibbly wobbly, great idea. This response is from Victor. Thanks, Freddie. Hello, everyone. Hope you're well. During one of Jordan's shows on Radio 1, he said he was worried about getting robbed because he left his windows open and a brand new laptop with his dirty pictures on it was near the window. Didn't leave any dirty pictures on it. It's a work laptop. He sounded really worried and asked people not to rob him, and I just wanted to check if he's OK. Keep up the good work, Victor. Yeah, we nearly gave my address out on the radio to millions of people. Oh, and really? And that day I'd left a laptop in the window. How so, did you nearly give out your address? Like, uh, I actually don't want to say because it'll give it out. It'll give it away. Okay. But basically, someone put. So I'd said something a couple of weeks before, and then I'd said something about that was happening on the street, and then I must have said something ages ago. And they put two. They put like people are weird. Mm. They've put three and three together literally, and kind of figured out where I live. Right. Which is really freaked me out. You know okay. what I'm like with stuff like that. Oh yeah. Well, uh, I'm glad you didn't give out your address, but for anyone that wants it, it's 111 Park Lane. <laughs> Just that, next to the Dorchester. Is that fancy? The Dorchester. Pfft. It's had a nice refit. It's very nice now. Is it? Yes. 
Uh, this one is from Hannah. Dear William Jordan and EPB, I would like to clear up the how do you say bud wiser dilemma you had the other week. I used to be a barmaid in a beer bar, which sold a lot more than beer in France, and we had a lot of imported beers from all across the globe. Sweden, the US, Sweden, Portugal, Sweden. Spain, Germany, and many more. The original Bud Weiser comes from the Czech Republic, which the Americans in turn took inspiration from and created the American version of Bud Weiser, better known as Bud. They both have different logos, origins, and flavours, the Czech Bud being vastly ah. superior. The W in the original Bud Weiser is in fact said as if it was a V, so it's Bud Weiser. Hope this clears it up for you. Best wishes, Hannah. So the, I didn't know they were different brands. So there's Bud Weiser and Bud Weiser. Yeah, so to, to basically, just to praise Hannah's uh, letter, I was right. Hate to go all British, but Bud Light is shite. <laughs> Let's not do more beer chat, because I just can't participate. It is. I, I love going to America now. Yes. Yeah. And I went to Chicago to see my friend this year. Yeah. And New York, you can't get a decent pint anywhere in America. No. You really can't. They do Stella, but I'm not the biggest Stella fan. Right. But yeah, Bud Light, it's like piss, in it? Well, I wouldn't know. Don't mind a cup again, Cause Light. Good chat, bro. Right, well, let's talk more about pissing olives, then. <laughs> everyone loves an olive. Everyone does. Not everyone. No, I don't ben, do you like, like an olive? Green, green or black? Uh, green, yeah. Green. Adam? Adam doesn't like olives, olives, you see. Do you like grapes? Yeah, I love grapes. Do you like grapes? Grapes are sweeter. Are olives made from... I think they're the same sort of family, but not... That's not. Great. Well... They're completely different. Are they completely you know that... that um, that meme that says, like, you tell your mum and dad or your nan once that you like something yeah. and they, oh, bre- like, they yeah. just pack the cupboards full of them. Mm. Every time I go to Spain now, or when mum comes in, she brings the biggest jar of Spanish olives because I once said, oh, I really like those Spanish olives. And I'm talking like that big Spanish mm. olives. Well, next time you get, go, you go, I'm really into Ferraris at the moment and then just see what happens. That would be my suggestion. So if you, yeah, though, it should probably send me like calendars and stuff. So if you've got a question or story that isn't a dilemma or a problem, this is the place. Oh, you just reminded me, mum, when I FaceTime this week, she went, I'm not even, she went, Al's William, still a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Well, takes one to know one, love. <laughs> Remember, we've got a question story that isn't a dilemma or a problem. This is the place where we can read it out. So drop into our DMs on social media or send us an email to help at sexofmyboss.com with anything that you want to share with us. We also love hearing back from the people we offer advice to. So if that's you, get back in touch with producer Ben. For more sex to news and nonsense, <laughs> sign up for producer Ben's newsletter via sexofmyboss.com. How's Wendy? She's a cow. <laughs> <laughs>